So today, myself and Beauty went on a hunt for isopods. I used to be able to just go into my backyard for isopods because I lived in a town, whereas now I'm in the city, it's a bit more difficult. I was looking at walls and trying to find some. I found one or two around the place, but really I was struggling to find them. So myself and Beauty were walking around for a good while, searching between all the little cracks in the brickwork and the different types of walls, and we were, we were close to giving up. And then on the way home, we found a few. And these few led us to what I can only describe as the mother load of isopods. So I wasn't quite sure what they were gathered around, but there were easily 100, 200 isopods on this wall. And when I had collected a few of them, I realized they were surrounding an ice cream cone shaped jelly and they were nibbling the hell out of it and having a great time. And that is now why I have a lunchbox full of tiny isopods sitting on my kitchen table. So the reason I was hunting for some isopods was because of the fact that isopods are actually extremely expensive here. So the amount of isopods I have in this tub right now would cost me maybe 30 to 40 euro here. Um, I don't know what isopods are like anywhere else. We do have a very limited reptile industry, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's why they're this expensive here. But they are fairly expensive. And there are loads of native populations around the place if you know where to look. So a lot of people will collect wild caught isopods and then bring them in and use them for their own bioactive environments. If you catch some isopods that you want to use for your bioactive vivs, etc, etc, you will kind of need to quarantine them. And a lot of people, just for safety's sake, will breed a generation of them and then use that generation of babies in the terrariums instead of the actual adults they've caught themselves. We don't know where these isopods were, so they could have eaten pesticides, they could have been walking across rat poison. You don't know what they've been on or what they've eaten. Well, we know these guys were eating an ice cream shaped jelly, which I doubt is good for, say, a lizard that then ate one of these. I'm using these for a snake tank, so they're not going to be eaten, but it's better safe than sorry. So I'm going to set these guys up in a little terrarium, vivarium kind of setup, and I'm going to give them everything they need, let them kind of chill for a few months, and when they have babies, I'll be using those babies in the vivs that I have for my snakes. This also means that if I've got my own population of isopods that I'm breeding myself, I'm not going to have to spend money on buying more. I'm not going to need to take more wild caught ones because I've got a nice little population here. I should be completely fine. And it's now coming into the winter months as well. So I won't be struggling to find more over the winter if... Uh, if something happens to my current population that they all die, I don't know, my viv dries out or my snakes flood the place somehow, I don't know. Something, something unexpected happens. So I'm going to go set these guys up. I just said I'd share because of the fact that I wasn't expecting an actual spawn point for isopods. And yeah, that that's it. That That's all. That That's the video. Bye.